joining us this afternoon. I uh, really appreciate everyone coming together uh, with uh, Mingus Maps for this uh, press conference. Um, as we've mentioned, we do have media on the uh, conference and we are now live on Facebook and I would like to introduce Commissioner Elect Mingus Maps. Uh, thank you, Jessica, and thanks for everyone who's tuning in this afternoon. Uh, we have just a quick press conference where I want to announce the co a coalition of Portlanders and community activists who've come together to denounce the campaign of vandalism and intimidation, which has been waged against Commissioner Dan Ryan in recent weeks. Uh, today at this event, I'll speak for a couple of minutes and then we'll have, I think, comments from uh, Ronnie Herndon and Reverend Hennessy. Uh, um, I also want to acknowledge folks who are on this call and may be available for questions from the press, uh, but are not slated to give formal remarks, including Dr. Sho Neeland, uh, Pastor Lee Roy Haynes, uh, Pastor C.T. Wells, Marcus Mundy with the uh, Commu Coalition of Communities of Color, uh, former city or former county commissioner Loretta Smith, uh, John Goodwin with the uh, Portland uh, Art Museum, Howard Williamson, a community activist, Denise Peterson with the Multnomah Education Service District, James uh, Posey, with, uh, uh, mm -hmm. who's a community activist, James Kelly uh, with Kairos PDX, Karis Stoudemire, uh, a business and community leader, Sean Flynn, uh, a community leader and business owner, Dr. Robin Beavers, um, a, a, a nonprofit leader, Terry Johnson with the Boys and Girls Club of Portland, uh, Keith and Antoinette Edwards, thank you, and uh, Terry Porter, uh, Trailblazers great, and uh, the coach over at University of Portland. Uh, thank you all for joining us today, and thank you all for rallying to this cause. This, re this remarkable coalition has come together um, to denounce the campaign of vandalism and intimidation, which has been waged against City Commissioner Dan Ryan in recent weeks. Um, the people of Portland elected Dan to fill the seat of our dearly departed friend, uh, City Commissioner Nick Fish. Dan Ryan was sworn into his position about six weeks ago. And in the last couple of weeks, Ryan has, Ryan's house has been subject to vandalism on nearly a daily basis. Um, mobs have descended on his house in the middle of the night in order to intimidate him into voting the way they want. It happened again last night. A mob descended on his house, broke windows, and sprayed paint on his home. Um, together, we've come together to share at least two messages. First, we want to say as a community that this campaign of intimidation and vandalism against Commissioner Ryan must stop. And second, we want to come together and say and remind our friend Commissioner Ryan that we are so sorry that he is going through this and we have his back. Um, and on a personal level, I want to say something to Commissioner Ryan. I feel you. Your story reminds me of my story, and it reminds me of the African-American story. For example, my great-grandmother lived to be 101. Uh, she lived in rural Texas. Uh, to me and everyone else in this world, she was known as Big Mama. Uh, when I was young, I used to visit Big Mama in Texas. Um, Big Mama's house was modest, uh, but it was always filled with laughter. There was always something cooking on the stove and there were guns everywhere. Big Mama had guns in her purse, in her hat box, in the cookie jar, in her sewing tin. As a kid from Oregon, I found this confusing. So I remember one day when I was a child, I asked Big Mama, what's up with all the guns? And she looked at me like I was a simple child. And she said, baby, those are from when the Klan comes. And that's where my story and the story of a lot of people on this call intersects with Commissioner Ryan. Um, I know what it's like to wait up for the white mob to roll up on your house in the middle of the night because you had the audacity to vote or you had the audacity to hope. And that story is shared by every black family in this United States. So Commissioner Ryan, let me offer you some advice on how to endure 
in the face of a campaign of terror. First, I have some hard news. Weapons will not save you, nor will the police. By the time you need them, it is too late. There's only one vaccine against hate, and that is love. And that why, that's why my colleagues and I have come together today. We're issuing a challenge to every Portlander to reject hate and violence. Friends, when you see hate, please call it out and, it's, and extinguish it with love, very much like what we're trying to do here today. Um, and when enough of us do that, we can replace our toxic political culture with a new civic culture that's based on love, respect, and peace. Um, so thank you for letting me share my comments. I think we have, um, we have a couple of other speakers tonight. I'd like to turn the floor over to Ronnie Herndon. Yeah, thank you, uh, Commissioner-elect Maps. Uh, the uh, repugnant criminal act of racism that was committed last night is something that unfortunately we've seen unfold in Portland for the last several months. We have primarily white people committing crimes and saying they're doing it under the banner of Black Lives Matter. This criminal activity has nothing to do with black people, nothing to do with black aspirations, nothing to do with black people and the fight that we have for equality in this country. Absolutely nothing. These are criminal acts that have occurred and they have occurred for the past several months. And my feeling is that those who commit those acts should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. But make no mistake, these acts of vandalism and intimidation have absolutely nothing to do with the black community. The black leadership has condemned them routinely for the past several months. And to Dan, Unfortunately, those in this country who have stood up for the right and who have the strength of their convictions often are intimidated. We hope that this show of support will strengthen your convictions, strengthen your courage, and know that you have many, many people who are standing behind you. And as uh, Commissioner-elect Maps began to talk about the Big Mama, I was wondering if he was going to say, Dan, we may not want you to do what Big Mama did, yeah, but yeah, yeah. we certainly do hope that you are able to get the kind of police protection that you deserve. So from all of us, Dan, just know that you have our support, and we are very proud of the convictions that you have shown in the city council. Thank you. And next, I think we have Reverend Hennessy. Can, uh, Commissioner elect, can I do something and, and uh, speak next after uh, with Dr. Haynes on the phone? I'd like to make sure he has an opportunity to say something if you're if you're sure. uh, absolutely. Dr. Haynes, why don't you go before me and then I'll be ready. Or at least I heard that he was on the phone. Okay. Well, if he's not I'm prepared. So let me just say first, congratulations to you, Dr. Maps. You are, you make us proud and we are grateful uh, to God for you being in the position that you're going into. Thank you for sharing tonight and caring so much about a colleague that you are about to work with, about his plight, about his situation and letting him know that he has friends and community people that even when he makes tough decisions that we stand in solidarity with the tough decisions that must be made and at the same time with the message of hope the message of peace the message of love the message of civility one of the things that I have loved about our city is that we've all loved it and loved it well, loved it passionately. I think about all of the wonderful people and I would love to start calling out names and I'll miss somebody, so I won't do that. But all of you represent what has made Portland 
the beautiful, wonderful, vibrant city it is. We've had a history of knowing how to resolve problems together. We come together. COVID-19 is not going to stop us from that. We're going to keep coming together. But every one of us must remember as citizens of this beautiful city that many people around the world, and as many of us do travel the world, when people hear we're from Portland, they know there's something special about this place. And over the last several months, we've had so many things, as Ron Herndon has mentioned, that has happened in our city that really hurt our hearts. Because we, my friends, must remember that we have the opportunity to agree, but we also have the opportunity to disagree. And when we disagree, we've got to learn how to disagree without falling out. One thing I've always known is that the joy of being in a democracy is that you are allowed to agree and you're allowed to disagree. And if you disagree, there should be no retaliation whatsoever. And what my hope and prayer is, is that those who are perpetrators of this kind of hate, that they also realize that we carry the stick of love. You're not gonna let, you're not gonna make us hate you. You're not going to make us do anything, but feel sorry that that is the way that you handle your situation when you don't get what you want. But what we would ask you to do is to connect with commissioner elect maps and, and with us, let us have a conversation. Let us understand where you are and where we are. And as I understood the stance that commissioner Ryan make, made was not necessarily a stance of anything other than saying, I need more information. I need a plan. I need to understand, and I need to be able to talk with people with sound mind, wisdom, and understanding to be able to make a good and right decision for the city of Portland. That's what he's charged to do. That's what we expect him to do. Please allow him to be the commissioner that he needs to be. And quite frankly, I would pray the same will be true for every one of our commissioners. Commissioner Maps, to you, I'm grateful that you believe in good public discourse and civility and love as we deal with our issues. Just know that as I speak for members of the faith community, we stand with you and with Commissioner Ryan and with the mayor and with Commissioner Hardesty and with uh, Commissioner Rubio. Rubio, we want you to be successful. We want all of you to be successful, but we want all of you to remember. And for those that follow you, please give them the same message. We're Portlanders. Let's continue to be the example that we've been to the world, that we believe in peace, we believe in love, we believe in civility. Thank you very much, Commissioner. Thank you. I uh, thank you so much, Reverend. Uh, more powerful words, and I feel your love and support uh, both from you and everyone on this call and through for Portlanders all over the city. Um, a brighter day is coming. All right, Jessica, what's next? Did anyone else want to say a few words before we um, say goodnight? Uh, this is John Goodwin from the Art Museum. Um, hey, hello, Mingus and Jessica. Hey, good. I, uh, I've already uh, kind of spoken a little bit with um, Dan, and but I just want to say publicly that um, I am a good friend to him, and he knows and hope that he will always know that he can call me anytime if I can be of assistance. Um, um, I condone, I mean, I, I do not condone the unfortunate situation that took place at his home the other night. Um, it is wrong. Um, it should never occur. And he's too good a person to have um, had that expo the ex 
to have been exposed to that um, unfortunate situation. So Dan, I'm here for you. If I can ever be um, Mingus, we are so glad to have you as commissioner elect. And um, if we can ever be of assistance, please let us know. Thank you all. Thank you. Wonderful. Um, Mingus, I'm hoping that you can read the names of the coalition that came together again. Some people join late and then oh, sure. And then we will, um, if there's anyone from the media that has any questions, we can answer a few of those and we'll um, hopefully get everybody back to whatever they were doing by 4.30. Sure. Well, uh, first of all, thanks everyone for tuning in, uh, especially on short notice. Uh, uh, um, this is remarkable community work. Um, as, uh, we ha and we also have a remarkable coalition which came together um, um, this afternoon and will continue to talk and work to make our community uh, safer, fairer, uh, um, and kinder. Uh, most all, most especially, I'd like to thank Ronnie Herndon, uh, Pastor Hennessy, Dr. Sho Neeland, uh, Pastor Lee Roy Haynes, Pastor C.T. Wells. Um, over at the Coalition of Community Color of Color, we have uh, Marcus Mundy, uh, Loretta Smith, uh, John Goodwin with the Portland Art Museum. Um, Howard Williamson, uh, Denise Peterson with the Multnomah Education Service District, James Posey, James Kelly with the Kairos PDX, uh, Kairos Stoudemire, a business leader and a community leader, Sean Flynn, thank you, Sean, you're great, uh, Dr. Robert Beavers, uh, I'm a nonprofit leader, Terry Johnson over at the Boys and Girls Club, Keith and Antoinette Edwards, who have given so much to our community, um, and Terry Porter, uh, um, one of our proudest sons. So it's great to see all of you together. Thank you for investing so much in keeping our community um, one community. Um, and um, let's continue to work um, and support each other as we kind of move forward through these difficult times. And let's remember to support Commissioner Dan Ryan too. Um, he's gone through some very scary stuff and wounds like this take time to heal. Um, and the way that you uh, heal this is I think with love and support. So I appreciate everyone who's here today. And if there are questions from the press, we'd love to take them. I also just wanna share that um, Pastor Mark Knudsen is also joining the coalition as well as Bishop Marcus Pollard. Great. Thank you. So we know there's some members of the press on here. Do you have any questions for any of our um, attendees? Well, what? I guess not. So. All right. Well, I, yeah. That means that's a sign that, that we that everyone did their job and the message was sent. Um, God bless everybody. Uh, take care of each other. And um, it's Friday, I think. So enjoy your your weekend if you get one. Thank you.